brought to you almost live from the dude in the basement studios. Why? Because that's where the good stuff is. It sips, suds, and smokes with your smoking host, the good old boys. Suds, suds, it's time for more suds. Hi. Whoa. Hello. Did you like that? Very I'm energetic. Exuberant. You seem very pleased to be I'm here. I'm awake Good. now. <laughs> Good. Because this is special. Um, <laughs> especially what kind fruity. Of special? Especially <laughs> fruity. And we're off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is a suds segment where. We will stay six feet away from anything but a good beer to be determined in this episode. True. Very true. Yeah. Joining me today at the table is good old boy Dave. Did I do that? You did. <laughs> <laughs> good old boy Kendall. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here. I was I was holding off because I, I thought I might get my intro. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. you know, abuse it. Oh, yeah. he's saving it. <laughs> Oh, no. He exposed it before. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah. Let's not use that word. It's first time for everything. Yeah, yeah. As long as he had a mask over it. I no. exposed myself. <laughs> Luckily, it's radio. Mm. <sighs> Thank God. Good old boy, Mike. Greetings. I am here again in spite of threats from Canadians. <laughs> There's that. Yep. At least it's... Banned once again. Yes. What place aren't you banned from? Well, there's a small place in uh, Nova Scotia. Most of Iceland is still fair Up game. for grabs? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, they only have like three radio stations on the entire, you know, country. So we're not we're not on there yet. Although I am working with a few people in uh, Reykjavik. So wow, wow, yeah, That's a, yeah. That's there are compelling. No words. That is there compelling no, radio we're we're doing yes, right now. Yes, there are no words. <laughs> Good boy, Drew. Hi. Hello there. And As I'm... someone who's never at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk? Take a walk. You want to eat? Take a seat. What's your favorite phrase? I'll have another. <laughs> Is that pretty close? You'll uh, have you'll have what she's having. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll have what she's having. Uh, please, sir, may I have another? Mm. Wow. <laughs> I could never mind. No, <laughs> no please. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> I am good old gal Juliana for those keeping score. Yay. And today we are going to add to that great tradition, that great grand tradition that we call the summer of questionable decisions. <sighs> Quite possibly the greatest single idea in entertainment since. <laughs> no, wait. Exotic dancers. Yep. Wait. Wearing bubble wrap. Oh. Wow. Wrap that, that around your head. Is that like the, the blurred, like, you know, in real life? You know, where they blur lines. something on television? Ooh. I saw that on, on a uh, sports channel recently. <laughs> think I think about, we may owe Marvin Gaye money now. Think about it's how like interactive a, that would it's be. It's like there. naked zorbing. <laughs> is that just to protect them if they fall off the stage? In this day and age you of sli- COVID, yes. <laughs> you slide off the pole, you know? Actually, I mean, bubble wrap, I don't know that you're sliding much. But <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> now, we have some very well-trained palates here Kindle. that have been working very hard in preparation for this episode. Just say Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> the nosing kits, the tasting kits. Yeah. Okay. Once He's my done it all. are very, very strong. <laughs> and then we got good old boy Dave. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying everyone's been working. And then Whatever there's you. <laughs> I, I did some stuff. You did. Dave, do you open the can left to right or right to left? I bite. <laughs> I bite into the side of it. Wait, that's scratchers. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> well, we have a variety of beers today. 
all enhanced with eh, some sort of fruit. Oh my God. Is enhanced really the right word? I was about to say, I don't know about enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> and we've created... Adulterated. Endowed. <laughs> endowed. Endowed with fruit. And we've created a game today, folks, called... Name, Name that, that Fruit. Name that fruit. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into this fine, scary episode, <laughs> um, this Sud segment is brought to you by... Odoron. Hey, it's a new world out there and new rules apply. You want to be a good citizen and you want to follow the rules, but sometimes it's hard to keep the distance in social distancing. That's where Odoron comes in. This deodorant, I mean odorant, doesn't come in traditional scents like baby powder or spring rain. Odoron comes in scents like sweaty socks, sour milk, and my favorite, hint o vomit. Woo, that's pungent. So when you're ready to get out of the house, but you want to keep that six-foot perimeter, wear the spray that makes them stay away. Odoron. Questionable decisions. You know, we've all made them. At least once, twice, a hundred times in our life. Twenty. Yeah. I mean, good old boys Kendall and Drew came here today. That's, yeah, that's definitely right up there. That is. I mean, I married good old boy Dave. Very well, questionable. Very questionable. Someone had yeah. to do it. <laughs> I mean, what was I thinking, you know? The world may never know. And then, well, there's good old boy Mike, and, well, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I think that just says it all. <laughs> so this is the summer of questionable decisions. And just like every summer, we want fresh, fruity flavors wherever we can find them. No. <laughs> and we found them in inns, some beer. Yeah, in some beers. In <laughs> some beers. But how well did the brewers capture those fresh fruit off the vine flavors? They didn't. And how well do they work with the base beer? Okay? These are questions we need answered. We just screw up a high quality Pilsner. <laughs> We have some fruited beers that are out in stores right now. Let's see what our hosts think. Now, this is a blind tasting, so no one knows what beers we're tasting except <laughs> me. I'll reveal each one after we discuss and rate it. Good old boy, Drew. Would you yes. mind bringing us the Suds ratings for today? It would be my pleasure. We'll be discussing and rating these beers with those Suds ratings, plus our signature belching sounds. Here are those ratings now. <laughs> Number one, that sucks. Give me anything but a dingleberry. Number two, was that a boysenberry or a poisonberry? Number three, ah, what a relief. The snozberries do taste like snozberries. And number four, a banana. Should really not make that sound. <laughs> and number five, listen to that hang time. Give me another slice of sweet cherry pie. I think that was a little Lindsey Graham-ish. No, I am quite certain that was like uh, East Hornwald. Uh. <laughs> Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks? Mm. I'm thinking that that is like two blocks east of the Sonic in Hornwald, Tennessee, so... I've been there. Is that is that that's that's where yep. the Piggly Wiggly is, I'm, right? Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, that's the only place where I would say the poison berry would, you know, probably exist. He's been so. there and he's been asked to leave. Yep, that's exactly right. <clears throat> the Sonic's good though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, thanks, Drew. Uh, all right, so let's get to these beers, okay? Each host is going to tell us what fruit is being used and what beer style it is. So let's see who gets it right. Why don't we just start with A. Beer A. So we lettered these beers because we throw out number ratings so that can get confusing. Yes. So we're just going to do A. So everyone, grab your glass of A. A is for apple. It's good enough for me. A I'm going to say ginger apple, ale. It's good enough for me. Sort of a peachy characteristic in my opinion, but... I'm but getting a little lime. Huh. 
Okay. Kendall says lime. Do you know what style the beer is? I was going to say lime pilsner. Okay. Okay. Um, Dave, you said ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a ginger I fruit? I guess I'm, the gamut. I'm, I'm out of the running. I think uh, I'm, I'm going to go with a Bud Light Lime. <laughs> wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. Highly specific. Yep. Yeah. You drink a lot of Bud Light Lime? I've been in that canoe, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Uh, so... Okay, yeah. I, I get the lime. Like, what do you... Okay. And we are rating this a... <laughs> okay. Okay, we're rating this a big number one, folks. What do we... Why do we rate this a one? I'm getting a little cardboard, too. It's just a limey little... Uh, um, there's, there's, the fruit is overshadowing the really crappy beer. <laughs> well, shouldn't so, that improve the rating? Well, yeah, and, you would think and so. is the fruit even... I you know, Kettle said lime. We all sort of like, okay, yeah, lime, but I'm peach, be. Dave's ginger. Peach and some. ginger. You know, yeah. How does if you can't nail the fruit, then yeah, yeah. Wow. So so what is the beer? What is this beer that we have rated a oh, one? Let me tell. Oh, it's lime. lime. What for? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. I think Mike had some inside information. What we are talking about, ladies and gents, is Bud Light Lime. Coming in at 4.2%. It is brewed with a combination of barley malts, non malted no, cereal grains, <laughs> right. subtle hopping, and natural lime flavors. Subtle or no hopping. Very, very subtle. Hopping. Natural is, un, is uh, an unregulated My term. We use, all of we y'all use zeros. one oh hop pellet per uh, batch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let me keep the score. You know what, though? <laughs> It lived up to what I thought it would be. <laughs> we will return after this brief what, interlude. familiar to me? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. No, I didn't think it was a, a crappy pills. I just thought it was crappy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to. He didn't want to narrow it down <laughs> yeah, too much. Yeah, here. I didn't want to say which 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 crappy and bad beer it was. <laughs> we are just full of the sound bites today, wow. ladies and gents. So we're gathered here today. For a special summer of questionable decisions. And we are playing the game Name That Fruit. And I'm not talking about the neighbors here. Where did you find that clip? Chrissy Teigen on Sesame Street. Uh. (laughs) I mean, if, you know, we want to peel back the fourth wall, that's cool. I just want to know which copyright lawyer would be be contacting me next week. So cool. I'm sure there'll be a few. Okay, moving on. So we have discussed our first one, which we were <laughs> rudely surprised that good old boy Mike knew what it was. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Oh, 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 oh Pinky Up is yeah. a Bud Light drinker. Mr. Bougie yeah. called the Bud Light. Mr. I like to make fun of Alabama. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, now we're going to move on to letter B. Grab your glass of B. And tell me. I hope it's B for better than A. <laughs> Hoppy bubble gum. Tell me what fruit. Fruit strike gum. Yeah, it is it's very <laughs> bubble gummy. No. Orange? What do you smell? Oh, no. I can't smell anything. No, I can I'm smell joking. my coconut hand sanitizer. <laughs> Out. Dude. Hmm. Um, yeah. It's a citrus uh, thing going on. Go ahead, Mike. What is it? Okay. Um, Which Bud Light is this? Bud one? Light Orange? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I don't think it's orange. <laughs> yeah, you should do, we should just use that as our standard answer yeah. today. Name that Bud Light fruit. Yeah. It's a citrusy, hazy pale ale. It's like a little hazy Sierra Nevada. I think it's called Little Hazy something. Great Little Hazy. Well, there's a hazy little thing, but they might have a fruity it. version. I, they yep. do, actually. It's it, it's in a, a pink a pink can instead of a like green one. I don't like the aftertaste on this one. Okay. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, what do you yeah, guys say? Yeah, I'm not yeah, going. Yeah. Well, yeah, what are we going to rate this? Okay, we are rating this a big deuce. 
Hey, it's twice as good as the last one. Yeah, I don't have a good guess other than I think the style is. I'm saying uh, orange. I'm saying it's a fruited IPA. Yeah, I'm okay. saying orange. A fruited IPA. pale. Fruited pale. Fruited pale. Kendall, what's your guess? Yeah, I said the, the citrus pale ale. Citrus hazy pale. Citrus hazy pale. Well, it's, it's just very vague citrus. Let me just dig into my box of tricks here. Dun, dun, dun. The box of revealing. So, oh, ooh, I got the style right. So, this is from Collective Arts. Wow. And, you know, I do enjoy their can art from time to time. They're very interesting. Because that's the measure of a true beer. Yeah. Isn't it, though? Isn't is it, it, though? Is it pretty? And right. so we learned on the can art show. Yes. So, what is this one? So, this is their pineapple vanilla IPA. So, citrus. Not pineapple, Fish. but I, I don't. No, no pineapple. But the vanilla, did y'all get no, vanilla? No, I didn't get the vanilla. I think maybe the interplay between the citrus and the vanilla is what made us think. Canceled it out. Bubble gum. I think yeah. you pulled the wrong can there. That's what I think. <laughs> no. So we're they're celebrating their annual Collective Arts Fest with the Ultimate Summer IPA. Shouldn't no, you picked a bad one. It's Sorry. loaded with delicious pineapple, creamy no, lactose, not. and no. sweet vanilla. No, no. no. <laughs> to ramp up the punch of pineapple flavor and aroma, they dry hopped it with fourteen Garbage? grams per liter of sultana hops, mm. renowned for their bright pineapple character. Mm. It's an insanely refreshing IPA. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. I would say that uh, that is description is way off base yeah. from what we had in the glass. It could be a beaker full of death. Yeah. I did not get the pineapple at all. Nope. No. The, those guys, they hit really good with some beers, but when they miss. See, I, th I think all that dry hopping didn't give them what they wanted. I think that's where they were getting all those citrus flavors. Yeah, when I think that was in the hop. Uh, I think that was in the hop profile yeah, for yeah. the beer. I don't think any of the fruit or that vanilla, whatever, was yeah. aspirational. Yeah, and I'm I'm getting a lot of like harsh um, hop debris almost, you know, on the yeah. palate, which is just inhibiting everything. Like if there is a lactose smoothness, I don't know that. It's I think there. the lactose gave it a little body. I don't think it did much. Else for it, I don't know. It's, uh, this is I don't, I don't know. Let's see what the next beer is. Uh, oh. I know what you did with that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets a glimpse into our home life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beer C. Grapefruit. Yep. Founders Masagabe. Ooh, that is a very good guess. Yep. Well, that is a good guess. Drew. That is a really good guess. Getting a little something vaguely tropical, like a passion fruit thing going on too. I'm going to go with passion fruit. I'm getting that little bit on the finish. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. It's that little extra. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost yeah. over, that is. over ripe almost. Like right at the end. But the style, what do you think the style is? Well, it's very light in color. And it's got, it's still got a head on it, even though it's been. It's hazy. Yeah. This strikes me as a wheat beer that's been <clears throat> had fruit over it. Okay. If yeah. I had to guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, and we we'll are go going to rate, rate this. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I have to say, I really like Drew's guess. I, I keep on thinking because that is really close to this beer. Oh, like because he knows what this beer is. Well, yeah. Mike's got an inside view on everything. I mean, uh, apparently, he does, so. You know. No, I don't. I, I'm just he has X-ray vision. Well, yeah. I'm thinking of all of those, you know, margarita style beers because that's really where this is at. Mm -hmm. Is in okay. that kind of margarita, you know, beerish style kind of thing where they're really looking for something that is lime and, and a hint of salt, you know, around it and has a. A huge, a you know, citrus, uh, yeah, a beerita kind of thing, yeah, for sure. What but, is this, Juliana? You know, and Bev beerita. <laughs> what is this? Let me Bud, just Bud Light Rita. Bud Light Rita. <laughs> <laughs> just a steak and system. You know what? I almost got a couple of those. Let me dig into my can of tricks. Oh, it was a box of tricks. Now it's a can of tricks. Oh. 
Oh, oh. the Lily Koi Capella. All right, so that is not a wow. super bad guess. By I'm a glad lot of it's a good uh, beer. Passion fruit. I'm glad passion Kendall fruit. pronounced it. Yeah. It's a wheat beer. It's basically their. Um, it's the Belgian wit. It's with, the Belgian wit with passion fruit in yeah. it. Yeah, we did pretty good there. So awesome on the passion fruit. Yes. Okay, Kendall. so for those just not quite getting it, this is from Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado. It's the Lily Koi Kipolo. Something like that. It's a Belgian style white ale Gesundheit. with passion fruit and spices, and it's five point four percent ABV. Yeah. It's a nice little beer. The yeah. tiki beer without being too yeah. fruity. It's one right. of it's one of uh, good old gal June's favorite beers. It's uh it's because it's the the white rascal, which is already a great beer, and then mm-hmm. you throw the passion fruit in there, and it's just amazing. That's exactly yeah. it. You're it's right. It's perfect. Very summary. That Very did not summary. suck. Yes. Good. And we rated this a three. Yep. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to D. And D is a little different in color, isn't it? D is for Dave. It's good enough for me. D is for Dave. He's awesome. Who you want to be. <laughs> Who you want to be. So we needed some interlude music, you know, thinking music. Some do, thinking music? Do, yeah, do, do, some Jeopardy uh, thinking music. Do, do, do. Wow. Is there like a s- almost smoky so kind of thing going really on? It's really dark, finish? almost like a red ale, you know, um, in the glass. There is almost a smoky element to it. That's, that's odd. I was getting a little bit of orange. This is one of my favorites. Hmm. All the summer. I usually pick up a couple of six packs of this a year. Bud Light, uh, Bud orange, smoked orange. Yes, <laughs> I'm definitely going to go with orange as the fruit uh, overtone here. Maybe blood orange. <clears throat> yeah, I can go with maybe a sweeter orange. variety oh. of orange. Oh, say yes. it's not. It's not. It's not as bitter it's as a I would deeper, expect. Blood orange. It's so. a deeper color too. Oh my god! Seriously, is that where you guys are at with this blood I orange? Am. No, <laughs> he said it. Okay, I, I was just trying to make him feel better. I'm an idiot. Okay, and what would we rate this beer? Well, hold on. What do we style, though? Do you guys think it is? I think it's just a pale ale. Yeah, I was going to go with pale ale. Okay, fruited pale ale with some orange, and we rate it... Shock top uh, nightmare. Wow. (laughs) That would be a Yeah, we're going to rate this one a three. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it is. Oh. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> it's local. Yeah, I knew that was local good. AF. Yeah. Is this soup? Um, from Yazoo? I'm gonna go. It's this not is soup. <laughs> I'm gonna go. This is a sly rye porter. Black Abbey beer. Then. No. 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 Okay. Oh. Not. Carl would not do something like this. Carl would okay. not do something. John would not. This, ben would not. This do something is like this. a Blackstone picnic. With strawberries. Mm-hmm. Really? 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 I'll enjoy strawberry picnic, but it has been a while since I've had it. I did not get the I strawberry. Have not had that oh my god. The color. The color. The color, yes. yes. The flavor. Uh, yeah, because there's not like there's ninety five different fruits. I was man, I was really getting orange. So let me that. write that down. I am not qualified to recognize strawberry beers. We are not fruitologists. <sighs> I, I know this sounds cheesy, but like this is a summer go to for me because like to me the strawberry it's there it's not overly fake. It's a tasty little beer, and it man. is a tasty little beer. Well, and it's so uncharacteristic of a lot of the other beers that they make at Blackstone Brewery. Sure, this isn't a hot bomb. Um, I mean, it's just I they don't make a lot of fruited beers, you know. Well, they they make uh, a lot Blackstone. of straight styles, like yeah. by the by the guidelines. St. Charles beers. Porter, you know, you know, right? Yeah, even like Adam Bomb and stuff like that. You know, they they go pretty straight. Well, I thank them. For making this, and I hope they continue to make this right every year. year. Yeah, my up. palate is really off on this. Totally one. I'm tripped just up by oh, it. Really? We, we tripped up Kendall, man. That it, you know what? We can just stop the show right now. <laughs> we 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 tripped Kendall. I think maybe I was exp- uh, say I I always yeah I'm still getting, a beat I'm still of getting citrus yeah really very, it's a very okay. different beer okay still not picking up the strawberry sorry wow. Maybe it's because you're thinking of fake strawberries, and this is a real no, strawberry. I am. I am staring at the label and really hunting for any strawberry in that, and I don't find it. So, all right. Okay. Well, let's go to E. You know, I just 
you know, strawberry is a lot, a lot tartar, you know, than what this is coming across. And even the sweetness aspect of that fruit, I just, it doesn't, it's not playing with what, you know, we were tasting. It'd be that. interesting to know how they added their strawberry, Was like it, how much. And it does seem a not tad enough. under right. What, yep. So I, I would say not enough as well. I don't think. What did we say? Like you guys thought the base style was too. Um, I said, I think we it said ale. 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 Yeah. 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 So, blonde ale. Yeah. Which that is a great kind of style to add, especially light fruit to, um, because it's such an easy little. Yeah, that it can let the fruit shine, whatever yeah. the yeah. fruit is. It's a nice, you know, base palette to to let the, whatever flavor you want to do right on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Cool. Moving e. on. E. Well, so I had an update uh, from a listener that I wanted oh. to talk about yes, today. Yes, please. Yeah. So uh, our quest to really uncover all things, you know, ex Amish, you know, has uh, moved down the pike. I heard from Robert, who uh, sent us an email from Iowa. Hey, Hi, Robert. Robert. Hey, Robert. And uh, so. Uh, Send us some top of the Is corn one or the potato one? <laughs> He said that he had uh, run into uh, a ex Amish lawn service, I believe, in Indiana, and sent me a photo of it. And there's actually a video of it on YouTube. Nice. Yeah. So I is was it like, like a, is it a guy with a mule that's pulling some like a lawn lawn mower? Well, thing, that's or? what I is was there thinking. With a scythe? That's what I was thinking. You might have like a dude with a sickle, or you know, even <gasps> a mule oh. pulling a you know a pulling uh, a riding mower. <laughs> Very close. That's what you're we're getting, getting there, Dave. You're you're on the right track, buddy. Okay, so it was a picture of a horse that yeah. was pulling a buggy, and it had a hitch on it to a wagon that had a regular gas powered lawnmower. <laughs> And a nice. weed eater in it. And then it had a picture of this kid walking around, you know. In so his- wait, they'll run a riding mower <laughs> and a weed eater, but he won't drive a car or so what truck. What I'm saying is that it just, you know, it was almost as strange as the mattress outlet. Yeah. That actually, what I found really funny when I was actually doing the research on, on the show notes for that episode was I was like, well, I told everybody that. I would put up a website of where the ex homage mattress warehouse is. And I'm like, well, that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm, I'm looking it up and sure enough, I found the website, but it was an Amish <laughs> mattress warehouse. And I'm like, well, who does the website for the Amish? <laughs> Do they still have warehouse? like, uh, is there a uh, email address like at earthlink.com? It was or? still called Am- Amish, you know, mattress outlet. That was so, you know what was so odd. So the same thing was true with this, with this uh, lawn service is that it had its own website, and I'm yeah. like, well, well they are ex little- Amish. I mean, yeah, I know, but it's just, <laughs> um, no, no, this was an Amish lawn service. Oh, okay, yeah, right. So they have not been shown. They have not moved away from the order yet. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So uh, ah. I was, uh, I was trying to get my head around the fact of that you would. Haul around a gas powered. <laughs> so, if you're ex Amish, <laughs> would you automatically grow a mustache just to, you know, because you never could before? <laughs> That's a really good question. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm sure that, I would. I'd be I'm like, sure you know, listeners will help us out. Right. I, I mean, I'm learning a whole. I mean, you know, my dad grew up in an Amish, you know, community. He would not, we were not Amish. What? Wow. Um, and uh, so you're ex Amish. No, I, we were never. We we're, we're always Presbyterian. Man, Your dad so. is ex Amish. No. <laughs> well, you said now. My so you know your story's fine. No, my so gra- this is the Bud Light <laughs> Limes thing all That's right, over right. again. <laughs> now my my grandma, my grandmother actually did teach piano at the Mennonite school. So, yeah. Well, Mennonites are like Amish light. Very true. That They're is Amish-ish. a very good way to descri- <laughs> yeah. describing it. Yes. Yeah. Right. I wonder if, if your focus on the Amish is because you can't really make them mad because they're not listening to the radio show. No, I'm not like picking on he's them. He's never been banned from an Amish I community. Just right? think that they, it's, they don't know he's talking. Yeah. About. I At just least think not that yet. It is <laughs> very, this moment of great irony and marketing. You know, that's the thing I'm, I'm trying to There's really. There's some Amish kid with a shortwave radio right now going, you son of a. 
<laughs> Amish. Yeah, Bad right. person. <laughs> yeah. So listen, I will include a link to the video of, you know, the same thing that Robert sent me uh, thank you, on Robert. YouTube uh, was the uh, Amish lawn service. I want to thank him for uh, showing, um, sharing that with us. Listen, if you run into any other interesting ex Amish or Amish marketing, um, I'd love to hear about it. I really just, uh, I'm enjoying the whole, uh, you know, send us a story, moment. uh, taped to a six pack of your local craft beer. It is, you know, um, just, I <laughs> just find the whole topic just a little too fascinating, a little too fascinating. You know? Mike <laughs> is obsessed with Amish and ex I think he is. Yeah. I just, the thing is, that Amish mattress warehouse, why would you not change your website? If you've gone all the way to change the sign on the road, why don't you change your website as well to go all the way and have consistent branding? Right? Maybe you didn't have enough money. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was just, you know. It's like, I think Mike got run over by a buggy when he was a kid. I need to watch the rest of the kid, uh, the rest of the kid mowing the lawn, though, because I only watched like about two minutes of it, and I'm like, there's got to be more here, but I couldn't watch the rest of the video. So <laughs> I got to find that <laughs> after the show. Too, it wow. was a little too that's, funny. Yeah. That's, where, that's where we're at as a society. Let's yep. watch yep. people mow a okay. yard. Well, we'll be back with more in just a brief minute. Welcome back, everyone. I was expecting the high C man to jump through the wall. That, oh, that's yeah. the Kool Aid Man. Kool Aid Man. Kool Aid right. Man. Yeah. See, I don't high think there is a high C Man. Uh, right. No. High C Man. There's the, the, the Hawaiian Punch Kid. There you yeah. go. Kool Aid Man. Hey, you want a punch? Okay. That, that's the one. That's totally what's in this. We're All right. beer E. So, ladies and gents, this is the summer of questionable decisions and. Like that. That is what we're doing. We are naming the fruit in the beer. Oh, we've gone through A through D so far. Let's talk about E. So we were sipping E a little bit through the break there. And the first thing that jumped out at me is a pack of orange slices like that, you know, right out of the vending machine. Candy that's been orange. in there for six and a half Straight years. Straight from you know, the chemical company. Right. It's you been know, in your yeah. grandma's house for about 30 years. That's the butterscotch. Come on. Oh, those... Mm. Were there's original? Yeah, oh, um, I think this is good. a this is a kettle sour wannabe. That's I what get any sour. Kettle sour it's, wannabe. It's definitely okay. orange. Um, that's all I've got. Yeah, it's some kind of orange wheat beer. Riding on a little wheat beer, mm. a little small beer. I think that's how the haze is getting in there too. Yeah. I agree. Really? What did we rate this beer? I'm. I have to go here or here. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're giving this a one. Folks. Wow. Mm. I think I, I drink know. orange juice when I want orange juice. Yeah. And uh, I drink we're... orange juice with vodka when I yeah, want. Yeah. I'm <laughs> with uh, wheat or uh, a blonde ale again. Yeah. Something like or that. Or a Belgian golden, maybe. Mm -hmm. Fish into your box of magic things. Is this a uh, local or like crafty? Something with zero hops. Yeah. Not at all. Oh, I don't think it's local. <laughs> Another Bud Light ah, lemonade. Oh, oh my it's god! It's the lemonade. What? How did it taste like orange, though? You That's... guys are on crack because it distinctly tastes lemon to me, uh, like lemon. I mean, like country yeah. time. No, no, not country time lemonade. Not like tart, but the artificial. Okay, so artificial country time lemonade. Yes, ladies, oh, ladies, which... ladies. Those of you that clean. Pledge so with lemon. I, have I redeemed myself that I don't know what like this would taste like? You know, that's sexist. There's probably guys that clean. I clean, but I do use vinegar. Okay, I'll give you that. And it's vodka. Fake lemon. But yeah. It really comes that's across. That's a good way of... This yeah. is like the really wow. bad part of lemon pledge. All right, I'd like to move on. Yes. Yeah. I'm okay Hopefully with that. Hopefully F is better. Wow. No. That F is what that last beer was. It wasn't good enough for it me. It smells weird. And tastes weird. It tastes like Captain Crunch. No, that's no. just not. Captain Crunch is far oh. more pleasant. It's, um, no, but like that, that like cereal. There is a cereal. It's, there is a cereal. That's what I'm saying. Very much like, like a cereal flavor. It's, yep. It's, uh, it's got crunch berries in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It tastes like crunch berries. It's a silly goose. Twi tricks are for kids. It's a crunch berry. It's uh, like crunch berries, but the, the milk you used was kind of bad. Exactly. 
So is, Southern Grist, but the name of this name of this <laughs> episode is name that fruit. Sorry, and I'm Southern thinking Grist. that I love you. If I know Dave well enough, he has tried to pick like a different fruit all the way along. He's never going to double back. Like there's not going to be like three orange or three lemons or whatever. Mm. You know, you get like graham know, cracker. Man. It's definitely like a light cereal grain beer with a with a berry in it. In my mind. <sighs> Yeah, this strikes me as a pills. This takes me with, back to um, my childhood. Yeah. You drank a lot of fruit beers uh, when you were a kid? No. Um, I'm going to go. This is a Pilsner with lime. Without much of a hop characteristic? Or- yeah. I'm sticking with crunch berries. This yeah. is not crunch good. Berries. I wanted to get some raspberry beers but I, for Mike, but I couldn't find any. Oh, you, you didn't look plenty. close enough. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, this is the house of raspberry beer. That's uh, where I move it all. Um, really? Gosh, this I, doesn't take you back to your youth. No, it's, is, this is Boone's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of. Youth. All right, what did you guys rate it? <laughs> that and was that's, easy. And that's that gener- was the one thing. I could that's generous. Like, give it a zero. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving it a one. Wow. And who did we make mad this time? Well, Bud Light Tangerine. Um, <laughs> no, but this, this. Oh, I know what this beer is. is okay, this let the, it go. Let it go. Don't say it. No. But this is my this is my youth when I was trying out different cereals and I liked monsters. Oh, monsters. Frankenberry. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Booberry. That was my favorite, but it's probably Frankenberry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I almost Always said more Blueberry. Because what Cocoa was Frankenberry? Guy. Frankenberry was Strawberry. Oh, uh, a beta Strawberry Lager. Yep. No. Really? No. It's the Abita. No. Abita oh, Strawberry Lager. How old is that? I hate that beer. I, mean, I like Abita Strawberry. I, I that thought beer. I did, but that yeah. was no, not good. You liked it no, when you I knew what it was I when you were drinking beer. it. <laughs> okay, this says Best Buy 10 20, 20. Well, yeah. that's an unregulated <laughs> phrase. But that, that was probably brewed this year. That's All right. Let's try G. I Maybe think that beer G's tastes a lot be better with a little bit more Creole and some sauce and some shrimp. Yeah, well, that's what I think. Maybe just a shot of vodka would help. Yeah, that, or yeah, just the vodka. All right, let's talk about G. G. G, this is not Ooh. great. G. G, this is kettle. Lemon juice. <sighs> Excuse me, citric acid. Uh, it's very cider-ish. Almost apple. Yeah. Um, light, I'm, clear. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with apple. Apple. Okay. I get apple, but I, there's something tr- vaguely tropical in here, too. Yeah. Like, like, like not, not mango, but um, papaya ish, passion fruit ish. But ish. Kendall ish. is good at bringing, br- breaking down the passion fruit. So I'm going to follow Kendall and say passion fruit. Okay. Passion fruit, apple, any other flavors? Uh, it's like a disappointment. It's like Seven Up on the back end, you know, yeah, like a, little, a citrus. Yeah, you know, a little lemon like lime lemon, lemon. Yeah, that's okay. a little lemony. It's all. It is light enough to be a lemon, isn't it? It was very light, very no. yellow light. All right, we've already had the enough. Bud Light lemon, so but we know it's not. I'm going to stick with a, like an apple or a pear or some, you know. Okay. That kind of citrus. I could see a pear. Know. I could see a pear. With this, all due respect, bon Joe. Remember, what I'm are saying we with all due this? respect, that idea ain't worth a velvet painting of a whale and a dolphin getting it off. <laughs> so, whale and a dolphin in velvet. Wow. Get okay. It on. Yeah, Here's, we're get, we're rating this a two. I thought these beers were going to do a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Sometimes the provenance doesn't do it justice. So this um ale with pineapple and passion oh, fruit. Whoa, two is for two. Single. 
Kindle is, is the man. I'm telling you, six point two percent ABV. He is the passion fruit king. Yep. I, it, it, it is something I pick up. It's a feeling. It's not just a flavor. Oh, I, get a sens- the I get a sensation in my mouth that it's like boom. That's passion fruit. There you go. Wow. So that's this is a, their wild well, child. There's a lot of ways you could go with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I always know with my bull <laughs> meter is Peggy. That was Kendall. It. No, <laughs> Kendall, right Kendall feels the passion in his mouth. Everybody, <sighs> let's let's listen to this, okay? Yeah. So, meet the wild child, our tropical troublemaker with effervescent intentions. This ale pairs bright pineapple with apple and tart hmm. passion fruit in a Mike sensual scores. carimbo. Make the getaway destination unknown. Set off into sparkling skies. Let's get out of here. The possibilities, the thrill, the adventure. Wowee. Get it next week at your grocery store. Ziplane, boss. Ziplane. Wowee. Interesting. So it is a little cidery. Uh, Yeah. Ryan guys, man, I'm telling you, they... They started off a few years ago, and every beer I had was just amazing. They were killing it. And and then they got into cider, and then they were just kind of bouncing back and forth, and now they're putting carrot juice and beer and just all this ridiculous stuff. And I'm like, you guys need to step it back a little bit. Well, we're doing really well locally. You know, I just yeah. uh, came back from there a, a couple weeks ago and ran into a lot of people that are just – you know, rabid fans, you know, of Ryan guys, and they've expanded their distribution quite a bit. I think yeah. they're in, I want to say six States now, um, might be a little bit more than the that. beers they make that I like. I love them. I mean, they're outstanding. I still run into people that, you know, that, that diehard standard of truth, um, yeah. you know, it's really great beer drank one last yeah, night. I mean, it really captures a lot of people's, you know, attention. All right. Next. K. This H. color is very interesting, very pretty. K is for cookie. It's, it's H, dude. Very copper. It's H, not K. <laughs> Mike, you're you're a little off, bud. Oh my God. <laughs> you're, you're on the wrong beer. <laughs> I need to watch some more Sesame Street. <laughs> this is sour. Wow. Okay. Pucker we're up, on H, not you're K. You're on the wrong beer. Oh, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, Come on, Papa. Get on A, the right B, C, beer. D. So this is definitely an IPA. Okay. Yep. You get some hops on here, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And it's like old school IPA. You got that caramel this is color West, flavor going on. It's like yep. West Coast IPA. I don't get a lot of fruit fruit. Like I would just say this is a fruit that I'm West Coast drinking. without being super skunky. But do you like this, yep. though? Yeah. I like this beer. It's yeah. Decent beer. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go West Coast with... Um, wow. Snails? No. Puppy dog tails? No. I was My first French transition fries? was, was uh, like a pineapple, but that's not it. Nope. It's citrus. It is. No. What are we rating this? Yep. Three. Good. Cool. <laughs> Somebody throw out a fruit. Um, and I'm not talking about Mike. I was going to say lemongrass, but this not. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Ruby red grapefruit. Mm. You know, you're not as far off as you might think. Um, Some sort of berry. That's very far off. Mm. I think I know what this is. That's why I'm saying it. This is a 7.4% ABV I, um, juicy IPA. Mm. Wow. Pirates. Love citrus fruits almost as much as they love blood. Did you know that? Blood orange. If the phrase you Mm. are what you eat is true, then pirates eat blood oranges. Yeah, I am not a huge fan of blood oranges. So this is blood blood orange, not blood uh, red grapefruit. They added bits of real blood orange to every beer. Fair enough. You know it's good. Is this uh, I do love Heavy orange. Seas? Monday night. No? Oh, Atlanta. Monday night. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were Monday into Pirates, too. Monday night from too. Atlanta. Mm, Wine, Pirate, Yar. Blood Orange Yar. IPA. So is this West Coast style I- IPA? Do we get the style? We got IPA. I mean, yeah. It just says ale brewed with it's blood very oranges. very West Coast IPA. Yeah, yeah it does the, feel that way, doesn't it? I think the blood orange is what's, is what's making it seem so West Coast hoppy. Do okay. you think that's because it's bringing that burnt sugar thing? You know, kind of around. It's you- giving it the color, and a lot of the times the color is what pulls you towards calling it a West Coast. Mm. 
but I do th- food coloring and white wine. And, but I do think they there's a generous hop bitterness there as well. R- remind me what we rated this. A three. 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 Yeah. I can it's, live with that. Uh, I mean, big, a big beer, too. It's 7.4. It right? Wow. Yeah. It's only That's, marginally more bitter than one of my favorite Blood Ooh, Orange beers, that beer Bloody Show, suck. from Lord. Against the Grain, and that's a lager. Yeah. yeah. So let's go to I. Mm. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I is a very distinctive color. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Cherry juice. Very Cranberry. Distinctive color. Crack a lack of man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That is tart. Yeah. Cranberry, not cherry. Cranberry. Mm. It's good. I like the way it finishes. <laughs> is it all smacking our lips. Super dry. Yeah. Tart. Yes. Yep. Well, this is a kettle sour. Beautiful color. I like this a lot. Yeah, I do too. Um, no. I don't know that I think I don't know that I think it's a kettle sour. I think it might just be the cranberry juice. Yeah. Because it's a I little more that. it's a little more nuanced than a kettle sour, you know, it's like it's zero hops. No, yeah, yeah. this could have so you have to go down there. There's no hops, yeah, yeah. I guess go down that. I, I was gonna say that I don't know if it spent time in wood, but it, I think it definitely has got some bugs in it. I, I, this is a four. This yeah. is gorgeous. Really? Uh, really? <laughs> like, really? I have to like one? <laughs> okay, but I like it because there's a complexity to it. Agreed. Yes. Um, but there's and there's so much flavor, but it's still like it's still kind of light. It's one of the tartest of all berries. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. What Ooh. do you think, right? Don't get bogged down. Oh, it's not a cranberry. Really? Raspberry? No, it's not even raspberry. Don't, it's not even a snozberry. Don't start singing the blues, Mike. This is a wild saison. Ten percent ABV, wild wow. saison ale, brewed with both Belgian and wild yeast before being aged in oak for fourteen oh, months. Really? Mm. It was then conditioned on eight thousand pounds of whole blueberries. Really? Oh, wow. For four months. Oh, so. I see what's going on here. Is yeah, that uh, Boulevard? God love Boulevard. So it was a, it was a f- it's a fruited sour beer. So that's it's what fantastic. is going I don't, on. Here. I don't get a lot of oak, but I get the wild yeah. the wild yeast in it. Well, I, mm-hmm. I think the oak is what's giving us that the tannic. Um, so what dry. were we batting like there out of the nine beers or so that we went through? Maybe fifty fifty. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. generous. Yeah. We well, were good on the passion fruit. We caught the passion fruit thanks really to well. Kendall. Thanks, thanks to Kendall. Thanks to Kendall. Yeah. Mm, mm, interesting flight. It was a fun one. Yeah, it was. Wow. Now, just for reference, take a super quick sip of Jay. Super quick. Don't like it. Sure. It's, it's very sucks. sweet. Oh, that that's is sweet. Bud Light Orange. That is really nasty. That's a yeah. one. Yeah. I wouldn't even said orange. It's sure. just yeah. And then the last one? Nah, it's all right. Oh, <clears throat> oh, so tart. Yeah, but it's good. Um, that one is the Westbrook Key Lime Goza. Uh, I don't like Key Lime. A good, decent amount of flavor for 4%. Yeah. So that is going to do it for us today. Aren't you glad you joined us with this special episode? You can always find us where you found this episode, as well as radio, satellite, online at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and nearly any place you listen to a podcast. The easiest way to find this show on your phone is to ask Alexa, Siri, or Google, play podcast Sip, Suds, and Smokes. We love your feedback, and you can reach us online at info at sipsudsandsmokes.com. Our daily tasting notes flow out on Twitter and Instagram every day at, at sipsudsmokes, and our Facebook page is always buzzing with lots of news. Please take the time to rate this episode if you're listening online. Five star. Good boy, Dave. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Good boy, Kendall. It was a pleasure being here. Please tell us about your blog. My beautiful wife and I blog about the good news of good beer at beermakes3.com. Good old boy, Mike. Hey, come back. Join us once again. I'll ask you to keep on sipping. Good old boy, Drew. This decision was questionable. Very questionable. Join us for more questionable 
and honorable decisions at a place near you. More Bud Light in my life. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is good old gal Juliana. Keep on chuggling and catch you next time. been a one tan hand production of sip suds and smokes a program devoted to the appreciation of some of the finer slices of life from the dude in the basement studios your host the good old boys will see you all next time <laughs>